Hey, Scott here, Scotty's Animals. I am driving with a companion in this uh, trash can with a towel on it. And um, two nights ago, I realized that the rat that had been outside running around on the porch had been coming in and out. Um, he was climbing all up behind the records and on my new computer, on my uh, electronic uh, drum set, and under my bed, and just everywhere. And he was leaving poops. Um, at first I thought he was just living in the laundry room and maybe he had been for several years, but for some reason he's in the house running around everywhere and I just can't have that uh, with the new computer but I, I <laughs> check this stuff out check this out I'm fairly certain that is a rat he lives under here under my bookshelf that's the big rat that's where he lives we have to do something about it. I saw that rat run from behind here and over through here and back there. And then I saw him run up to the guitar case back behind there. He ran from behind the record player on top of the drum set, behind the printer, over to the computer. And I saw him, look at that, chewing on the brand new Ethernet cable. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. <laughs> but still, not cool. Let's see if I can catch him. The whole thing about Tom and Jerry. Mice are. Look at him. I put this parchment paper so if he steps on it, he'll fall in. But he's not falling in. You could try to throw something and maybe he'll fall in. I've got a very large mouse trap coming, rat trap. What is he? I'm not sure what he is. That's what he is. He's a desert wood rat. Look at him. That's the guy. This is the rat pee right at my front door. That rat piled all this stuff in front of here, which I guess is his nest. And you can see all the poop and stuff. And I'm fairly certain it's the same rat. It could be a different one. But this is pack rat behavior, not kangaroo rat behavior. He is incredibly cute. And he has no fear. Come on, look at him, look at him go. Come on, slip. He's definitely outsmarted me. Damn, he's good. He's got good reach. Come on. Just jump in there. <laughs> That's where all the good stuff is. I really like him. I just don't want him to destroy everything. He got cocky and now he's in there. <laughs> he could probably get out. So I can't mess with this. I need to put something over him. Quick. I really like him and I don't want to hurt him. Oh boy. So I've come 
to the top of this. Uh, you gotta see this. You got, you just gotta see this. Uh, these rocks, people spray paint them, but look where I am. Uh, but I thought this would be a good place because there's lots of crevices and um, creosote is what these desert rats eat, you know, not the stuff that's in my floor. I just put the rat the rocks here, a lot of shade, a lot of creosote all over, and I put a big apple and a bag full of baby's bird seed, so I hope, I hope the rat does okay, you know, I hate to put anyone outside in this heat, but said I can't have them ripping up my home my new computer station especially when this is his natural environment where'd you go it smells like rat pee all over here Where'd you go? So he should be okay. Look at those ears, huh? Well, this is his natural environment. So I can't feel too guilty. And he's got quite a view. So. Well, I gotta get back home. Got a million things to do. I'm still unpacking and I'm trying to be productive. And uh, now's the time. Thanks for watching. I hope you uh, appreciated this desert video. Always a, a challenge when you move to a new place. Let's wish our little desert rat friend luck. Um, I do feel guilty because I said that we were going to coexist, but that's when I thought he was an outdoor rat. <laughs> uh, I hope this uh, put a smile on your face. See you next time, guys. Get back on the road. So I'm going to clean this up now that the rat's gone, and we'll see if this doesn't come back, this pile. I cleared everything away from here, and now it's all piled up again. So... There's a different rat in here. Stay tuned. <laughs>